I had came from one workout for one team, and then uh, as I was coming home, another team called me to come do another workout. And you know, at that time, I was just ready to give it up. It was probably my fifth workout. And uh, my dad was actually at the airport waiting for me when I got off the airplane. I told him like, I don't want to, I don't want to play no more. You know, I just get a regular nine to five. And, and he said, No, you getting on the plane, man. This is what you're destined to do. And uh, and I got back on the plane. And now I'm here and doing a great job, and, and I love it. Uh, it's crazy because I just talked to him about it the other day, man. Uh, you know, I'm thankful, you know, because, you know, this is what I love to do. This is what I know. You know, I mean, I got my degree in school and things like that, but, you know, football is my passion, and, and I did it all my life, and I, I can't see myself doing nothing else, right, not right now. You finally got to your first opportunity to start. How did that feel for you, especially uh, to come out with a win? Yeah, uh, it felt great, you know, just get out there and, and play defense and, you know, get the opportunity to play. And, uh, you know, especially my first start in my home state back in PA, I had a lot of family there. And like you said, coming out with that win was big, so it was, it was, it was a great feeling. Coach Frazier had said that you guys, going into this game, you knew that you probably wouldn't even have a shot if you weren't able to shut down that run. What were some of the keys to being able to do that? I mean, going into this game, two 100-yard rushers, that's, that's something. Uh, just going out there and playing at this time in football, you know, everybody playing in their gaps and uh, playing physical and downhill. And uh, that's what our coaches emphasized all weekend. And that's what we did. And we uh, played great. And, and, you know, you could, you play great defense stomping around. You know, a quarterback can throw for 500 yards, and but you can still win the game. But when the team is rushing the ball for, on you for 200 plus yards or something like that, you, you're pretty much going to lose. So, you know, we emphasize stopping the run, and that's what we did. With a position like yours, predicated so heavily on instincts, you know, that has to be a big confidence boost for you to go out there, play the way you did against Pittsburgh, and also, too, uh, at the very end there, being able to get that three and out at the end. Oh, yeah, definitely. You know, playing linebacker, like you said, it's instincts and uh, being able to uh, read your keys and know what you're doing. That's big, you know, uh, at the linebacker position, you're the quarterback of the defense. You got to know what everybody's doing. You got to know what the D-line is doing. You got to know what the other linebacker is doing in, in uh, the secondary. So, you know, that's big playing the instincts and just knowing what you're doing. This week facing a much different quarterback, also equally difficult to bring down, but for different reasons. The fact that, you know, Breeze rarely takes a sack, does that change you guys' approach uh, as a front seven? Uh, we just got to go out there and do what we were coached to do, you know, like we did last week. Go out there and play, play buck ball, buck defense, and, and uh, I think we'll be fine. Just go out there and, uh, you know, assignment football, read our keys, and, and play gap assignment football, and uh, we should be fine. And this is another quarterback, too, a little bit of a different style, but, but he also sells play action pretty well, as, too. Yeah, uh, he's one of the elite quarterbacks in his league. You know, uh, he's not that tall, but, you know, he's, he's great. He runs, he's the command of, of that offense, and uh, how he goes is how the offense goes. So, uh, you know, we got to put big emphasis on uh, shutting him down and getting to him early and getting in his face and uh, making him make bad decisions.